giving me the jitters. Oh, take it easy, old man. It's always this way on the day a new picture opens. But I'm frightened, Captain. That mob down there. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. The tapes are up. The doors are tightly bolted. The Radio City Music Hall will be stoutly defended against the invaders. <laughs> Say, I've been on a dozen campaigns with General Breckenridge, and he'll see us through. I have complete confidence in the high command. No pictures, no pictures. Why can't we have peace? I could use a long furlough. Oh, easy, boy. You'll get used to it. Do you see these stripes? This is for the Razor's Edge Offensive. This the forever ambush push. This the Mother War Tights bulge. Gone with the wind, birth of a nation, ban her. All terrific fights against terrific odds. The enemy may outnumber us, but our morale is much higher. Oh, Sam. Yes, Irving? If I don't come back, will you take this letter to me, mother? <laughs> I know how you feel. Your first time under fire, but don't worry. General Breckenridge will see us through. Hello, Sacre Bleu, Jean-Louis Barreau, Louis Jouvet, Raymond Jean Cacto, Jean Gabin. What's the matter with him? A very bad case. Three years occupation duty in a foreign film house. This general headquarters? Yes, sir. Am I the commanding general? Yes, sir. We are lost. Captain <laughs> Randolph, call your men to attention. Up. Men, we are about to meet the foe. What is the password at one o'clock? Plenty of good seats in the orchestra. Good. At three o'clock. Plenty of good seats in the balcony. Good. At eight o'clock. There will be a short wait of three hours. <laughs> Even if the whole house is empty, what do you always say? Best seats in the last aisle over. Best seats in the last aisle over. Very good. Captain, inspection of arms. Private Manelli. Very good. Private O'Halloran. Yes, indeed. Private Sweeney. Good, good, yes. Private Scherzinger. What is this? Who? Sabotage, I know. What? Uh, defective ammunition. Here. Lend lease from low state. General, the zero hour approaches. Zero, zero. Ah, oh, yes, zero. Men, men, I shall brief you briefly. We are about to engage an enemy that outnumbers us for the first time since bank night. Now remember, when the first wave sweeps over us, we may lose the mezzanine, but we shall hold the orchestra pit. Understand? <laughs> and when we conquer, remember, no fraternizing. I want no walking arm in arm, no holding hands, and no smooching in the balcony. Now remember, when you go out there, go out there with the company's battle cry on your lips. Remember, Pearl White. Yeah. <laughs> What is this? I told you no more volunteers. This man's not a volunteer. He's a spy from Roxy. A spy? <laughs> we caught him putting seven up in the Coca-Cola machine. Oh! <laughs> Spreading hatred. Breeding discontent, eh? Take him out in the alley and shoot him. No, wait. That's too good for him. I know. Tie him to a seat in the front row and let the Rockettes kick his brains out. <laughs> what do you know? Where was I? Zero hour, sir. Ah, oh, yes, zero hour. Zero hour. Men? This will be my plan of attack. Captain? Yes, sir? You will hold this sector as long as humanly possible, you understand? <laughs> now, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. When the going gets too tough, you will open up a second front in the mezzanine. Uh, uh, um, I myself will lead my commandos into the ladies' lounge. <laughs> <laughs> and wipe out all resistance. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. Remember, when we attack in five seconds, synchronize your watches. <clears throat> five, four, three, two... Ah! I can't stand anymore! I'm going mad! I said you mad, mad, mad! I knew this would happen. I knew it, Crack. I saw him barking back at Lassie, last picture. What's the matter, boy? Are you afraid? Oh, I'm not afraid, sir. It's just that I can't stand anymore. Seven days a week, five times a day, the same lousy pictures over and over and over. I understand, my boy, I know. Calm yourself, calm yourself. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. I remember the days. When I was a corporal, ah, uh, in those days you had to stand through silent pictures. Ah, uh, I remember Mary Pickford and Rudolph Valentino. the big silent westerns. And then, then came the big colossal spectacles, like the big parade.
Then came the talkies. You actually heard them talk from the screen. It was wonderful. And then, finally, after years of pioneering, they got the best directors, the best producers, the best cameramen, the best salmon, the best playwrights, the best actors, and we got... Men, this is it. Or is it? Yes, it is. That's right. Good luck. Good luck. Men, I want you to go out there and fight. I want you to go out there and give it everything. I want you to go out there and fight for the company's honor. Remember Radio City Hall. And now, go out there and fight. And remember, don't give an inch. Go out there and fight. I'll stay here. <laughs> go out there.